Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can run scripts as an admin and that's needed because on some windows like my task manager you are not able to run hotkeys for instance when your focus is on the task manager or registry editor and that's because you need admin privilege to be able to run the hotkeys when you're on these windows and so you need to run the script as an admin. If you're interested in this video, please continue watching. All right, let's begin. This video is gonna be a real short one, so let's quickly get it done and be over with it. So what I have here is a, a hockey that opens up my desktop folder by pressing start and D. So if I run that and press start D, it opens up my desktop as usual. Uh, what happens is if you have say task manager open or registry editor open, some of these programs will prevent your hotkey from running even if, even if you press the right keys. Um, and that's because you haven't run them as as an admin. So if I go start and D while my focus is on registry editor or task manager, what, what it's going to do is it's going to do the usual window function, which is to minimize everything. So in order to avoid that from happening, what you can do is you go if not equals a is admin then run star sign run as oh, quotation mark percentage sign and script for path so this command basically determines whether you have script running as an admin if not then you rerun the script by giving it the full path as an admin this is the the text that makes your script run as an admin. So if I go ahead and run this, it asks me whether I want to make changes to your device um, just as when you would try to run, say, command prompt in admin, you would get the same message that says you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You might not have seen that in the video, but I got that warning window popping up because obviously admin running programs with admin privilege opens up some risks to your computer. So now I have run that and if I go back to my task manager and then go start D, this time it's going to successfully open up my desktop, um, meaning that my script has successfully run my command. That's pretty much it and uh, I'll see you in the next video.